right. I, I don't mean, I don't mean being around. I mean, sister, God is involved in their speech. Amen. That's what you want. We can't watch them. Pastor, we can't watch them. But if God has his hand on them like he had on that, the end result is perfection. All right. Don't be afraid of perfection. God is a perfect God. That don't depend on your independence. So Adam, as I list these few things here according to scripture, uh, in Genesis, now I'm being just, I'm going to work with a couple of verses in Genesis as, as I, you know, finish with Adam. The first chapter, verse 26 through 28, God said, it reads this, and I'm in Genesis 1, All right. verse 26 through 28. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, right, right. over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creeping were on the earth. So God created man in his own image. Yeah. All right. And in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Yeah. That's not debatable. No. Science, I don't care what science says. I don't care what proof they're looking for. In the beginning, God created humans. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't an atom. It wasn't some big bang theory thing. It wasn't some ape that became some walking in the... No. <laughs> it was God yeah. who reached down, got some red looking dirt yeah. out of me, yeah. and he made a man. Yeah. That man's name was Adam. Yeah. Uh, if you're willing, to let God be true, All right. your life will go better. Yes, and your children's life will go better. Yeah. Your grandchildren's life will go better. Yeah. You will make it better for your supervisor. Your pastor will have an easier time. You will work in the church if you let God be true. Yeah. So and the 28th verse is what blows me off my feet because I'm 48, and I thought about it for 48 years. I have been a reciprocal of God's mercy and grace. And his blessings has befallen on us all. Trust me, sisters and brothers and boys and girls. You're here today not because you were so careful to get to this church. All those young lights wouldn't. Yeah, you know. So it wasn't that you were so careful. It was because God blessed you to be here. Amen. So from the very beginning, watch verse 28. And God blessed them. He created them and he blessed them. He's still doing the same thing. Introduce your children to Christ. He will recreate them and he'll bless them. So God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and, and multiply, multiply and replenish the earth. And get this, and subdue it. Uh -huh. He gave them, he gave them the authority to take control over it. All right. God is amazing whether we recognize him or not. Man. He's Man. just a God. He gave them, and so Adam here, he have dominion over the fish of the sea, mm -hmm. over the fowl of the air, every living, moving thing upon the earth. God blessed them. Uh -huh. He hasn't changed. No, no. If you let him create you, I heard Paul say, we become new creatures. Creature. All right. So that means he can recreate you. Oh, you don't have to change color. You don't have to change clothes. Right you don't have to even change your residence. But you don't have to change that thing in you to have love. Yeah. And the recreated person will be blessed by God. And listen, watch this. You have control. And the control that we gain is over Satan. All right. We are here today with full power. We have 
have control over Satan. Yes, sir. I promise you I got about four more minutes. Uh, so, moving down. I want to go to the second chapter of Genesis. You should lay down the chart page. In the second chapter, verse number seven, watch what God, how he created Adam from the dust and watch what happened. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. You may step on folks' toes that way. It's not you stepping on folks' toes. That's God's word stepping on their toes. Right, right, right. Now, if God were to offend somebody, they need to get right with God. Yeah, all right. Something has to change. Yeah, uh -huh. His word not going to change, Minister Will. No. If his word ain't going to change and something has to change, let people change. All right. God has been trying to get man to change since he made it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And, and here's what really got me to. And he breathed into his nostrils All right. the breath of life. Yes. And man became a living soul. Yes. Did you, when we read Father in Genesis, when he created all those animals, brother, he didn't breathe his breath in neither one of them. No, no. Uh -huh. But man uh -huh. got God's breath in him. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. You don't have to, you don't have to go around and talk about, I ain't no monkey. No, no. You ain't no monkey. <laughs> you got God breath in you. Right. A monkey don't have God breath in him. They got the whatever God gave them in them. Uh -huh. We have God's breath. Right. We're made in his image and his likeness. We are children of God. Come on, man. <laughs> Then God put out him in the garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Now I'm turning the paper, so you know I'm about to. Uh, 14 through 17. Verse 14 through 17. I'm going to read. Uh, and the, uh, I'm in the second chapter. Uh, and the name of the third river, and, and, and I, I like to get the PC's rivers because we, we go to the, the uh, garden of Eden. The uh, name of the third river is Gedeko. Okay? Uh, that is, which goes forth on the east of Assyria. And fourth, the river of uh, Euphrates. Euphra 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 we know about right, that right. throughout the Bible. Reading. Verse 15 is all I get. And the Lord God took the man mm -hmm. and he put it into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. God has been taking man, yes, sir. placing them where he wants them. Yeah, Lord, yeah. All we need to do now. Is do right. like he told us right. to do. Right. Yeah. If you are a pastor, do like he asked you to do. Mm -hmm. If you are a supervisor, do like he asked you to do. Mm -hmm. If you are a child, go to Ephesians 6, do like he asked you to do. Okay. He has placed you wherever you are. The obligation we have, right. that Adam had, was to do like God asked him to do. You know nothing's changed, right? So that means if God had changed, if God take you, you are your child, and he placed them, they need to do like God asked him to do. Right. Nothing changed that. Things will work out better that way. Man. Uh, in the 18th verse, God showed great concern for man. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help me. Not only has he made out, not only has he created Adam, and he formed Adam, and he placed Adam, but he has concern and love for Adam. Uh -huh. The greatest thing in the world that has happened to us is that God has concern and love for us. Right. If you want to debate that, go just go to Romans. Romans 5 and 8, God demonstrated okay. his love toward us. Uh -huh. And why we were yet sinners. Right. Christ died for the ungodly. The, the concern and love God had for us has truly blessed our souls and Thank now has created us new creatures to enter into his kingdom forever. The greatest thing in the world, God's concern. And his concern for Adam made him put him to sleep and take one of his ribs. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, I read somewhere in Hebrews that God loved him. He'll show you love because he'll chastise you. So scriptures say, those that God loves, he chastises them. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have a problem when God takes a hold of us. Mm -hmm. I mean it. If your spouse, if your husband, if your child, pastor, deacon, usher, I don't care, 
here, Pope Patricio. If God take hold to you, All right. be happy. Because uh -huh. that means God got you. Who in here don't want God to have them? Amen. Yeah, you definitely want you to have your children. All right. Uh, verse 24, then I got one more verse. God made Adam the only example that's to be followed in forming a family. Okay. No, you, I, you, okay. Uh, I, I'll say that. God made Adam the only example that is to form a family. Okay. He told them in verse number 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. They shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall become one flesh. That's the only example God left to create a family. All right. I don't care what the world say. The problem that we have, and if, and if, if something fit you, I'm just reading out the Bible, so you take it up with God. Right. But uh, <laughs> the only example that we have as individual human beings and former family is when a man and a woman mm -hmm. get together and marry and then reproduce. Mm -hmm. That's the only example that is that God gave, and until he give another example, All right. follow that example. Come on now. Keep yourself out of trouble. Okay. Uh, I'm going to finish up by saying this. Because God created Adam like he wanted Adam. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He put Adam where he wanted Adam at. Right. He gave Adam what he wanted Adam to have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the blessings that Adam was going to receive was going to be beneficiary from what God wanted Adam to have. You don't want nothing God don't want you to have. All right. You don't want nobody God don't want you to have. Come take on. it how you want to take it. All right. um, you don't want to be in a place God don't want you at. All right. Because the end result is you going against God. And I have read 66 books of folks that said one against God, and nothing turned out good. <laughs> so as I finish, I'll leave you with this. Acts 17 and 26 shows proof that the reproduction that God gave Adam was followed, and now we're here today. Mm -hmm. Out of one blood came all nations. All right. There's one way to get back with God. There's one mediator between God and man. All right. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. And because Adam was born, because Adam was formed, because Adam was who God wanted him to be, today we're blessed. Amen. Amen. Today we're blessed.
doing his own thing. All right. No different than today. Uh -huh. yeah. This 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 scene that Noah faced it was not different than we face today. Uh -huh. We see mass shootings. We see mass deception. All right. Mm -hmm. We see mass murder. Uh -huh. yeah. And there seems to be a common thing in the news to where it don't really alarm us. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you know when, when, when you look back at this, you know, I'm gonna kind of skip around, but I'm gonna stay in the sixth chapter that you, you see why Jesus will. All right. Mm -hmm. When he when he went to the cross and gave up his life as an ultimate sacrifice. Hallelujah. But I'm glad he did. Oh yeah. Amen. So that that we can have a right. Uh, we can have him say we just got to go through him. Amen. Today's lesson, we're going to examine Noah. We're going to start out at Noah 6, I mean uh, Genesis 6. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to,